Hello everyone. This video will be in English language for the non-Hindi speakers from South and Northeast India. In this video, I will bring to you the multiple choice questions, the best multiple choice questions from the fourth week of November. Now, please note that it is a big week because it is from 22nd November to 30th of November. And therefore, this will be a long video. Now, I am assuming that uh, this will your video will be around 90 minutes or more in length. So you have to be really patient and I have covered 170 very high frequency questions. If you wish to follow me on Facebook, the link is given in the description below www.facebook.com slash Gaurav Garg Education. That's, that's the URL. Let me give you a very quick update on the pen drive course. So uh, right now the best selling course is KVS and CLAT because the exams are due. Um, KVS is I think in Jan for some and for some it's in uh, December. CLAT uh, will be next year around April. Hotel management and BBA. So these are all ready. We have included service aptitude also in hotel management. And uh, of course for SSE CGL 2017 and for Railways 2017 we are we are having few updates in the pen drive. If you buy now we'll give those updates to you later on private channel. Otherwise uh, you can wait for like 10-15 days. Also we'll be having a discount from 15 December onwards. That's the number which you have to call 9580048004. And if you want to download the PDF, go to our website studyiq.in. So studyiq.in and on the left grid, you will see downloads uh, option. Click that. In fact, the PDF for this video has already been uploaded on the website. So go out there and enjoy. And uh, some people say that the answers are not marked on the PDF, but PDF is meant for revision, not for replacing the video the the information that you get in the video 50% is in the form of questions 50% is extra that you will not get in the PDF so that is why to encourage watching video I do not write the answers in the PDF so without further delay let's begin which state government has made the fitting of auto dippers mandatory in four wheel transport vehicles as a road safety measure so for enhancing encouraging road safety this was necessary to include auto dippers and now it has been mandatory by Haryana government now Haryana the capital as you know is Chandigarh Punjab and Haryana have the same capital Chandigarh and Haryana has a BJP government the chief minister of Haryana is Manohar Lal Khattar so he has made it compulsory that all the four wheelers will now have auto dippers which country is expected to quit the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal due to change of guard. So 12 Trans-Pacific countries like America, uh, like you know, the countries which are in and around the Pacific Ocean, 12 countries, they had signed this deal. We have in fact made a very special separate video for Trans-Pacific Partnership. It is made by my student Rohit Das. So Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal, um, you know, Donald Trump is saying that uh, he wants America to quit it because Donald Trump is against free trade agreement between the countries. He is also against globalization. He, uh, he enhanced or he incited the nationalist sentiments in the youth and he got a lot of votes because he said that I will cut all the jobs uh, by you know which uh, we give away to Asian countries and other countries for outsourcing. And now those jobs will be native to America again. That is why he is uh, putting his back on all the uh, free trade agreement. And the one such is Trans-Pacific Partnership. So America is expected to quit Trans-Pacific Partnership. It will hurt countries like Japan, etc. Which were really looking forward to it. Now USA, uh, the Donald Trump is from Republican Party. And he is the president-elect. Very soon he will be the president. And vice president is Mike Pence. That also is a good question. So when Trump will be president, Mike Pence will be vice president. Who is the chairman of Atomic Energy Commission of India who was in news recently? And I'll tell you why he was in news recently. So uh, he was in news because India has become a member of CERN. That is why uh, it is a long term uh, partnership between CERN and India. So the chairman of Atomic Energy Commission is Dr. Shekhar Basu. India has become, become an associate member of CERN. So next question is that only India has recently become an associate member of which of these organizations? The answer is CERN. 
वी विल मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन सी ई आर एन एंड एम टी सी आर बोथ इंडिया इज अ मेंबर ऑफ बोथ सी ई आर एन एंड एम टी सी आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंडिया विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग द फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ अकाउंट्स हेल्ड बाय इंडियंस इन स्विस बैंक ऑन ऑटोमेटिक बेसिस फ्रॉम विच मंथ ऑनवर्ड्स सो बेसिकली इंडिया एंड स्विटरलैंड देर वॉज अ जॉइंट डेक्लेशन एंड इन जॉइंट डेक्लेशन इट इज इंक्लूडेड दैट स्विटरलैंड विल प्रोवाइड इंडिया विद ऑल द फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन एंड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इंडिया विल बी हेल्प विद दिस इंफॉर्मेशन टू ट्रैक द स्विस अकाउंट्स नाउ प्लीज नॉट दैट एवरी पर्सन हु हैज अ अकाउंट इन स्विस बैंक डज नॉट मीन दैट दैट पर्सन हैज ब्लैक मनी बट देर आर पीपल हु हैव डिस प्रोपोर्शनेट एसेट्स सो दे विल बी ट्रैक्ड एंड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी प्रोवाइडेड सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन ऑनवर्ड्स एंड हु नोज वी मे हैव अ न्यू गवर्नमेंट because in 2019 we will have general elections who is the chairman of central board of direct taxes so central board of direct taxes our income tax department it is uh, it was in news for all the wrong reasons because central board of direct taxes chairman uh, he was indicted central board of direct taxes was indicted or accused by the cag that is comptroller and auditor general cag said that cbdt department has allowed rupees 50 rupees uh, 4500 crore of irregular benefits to infrastructure companies that is why uh, cbdt chairman was in news for all the wrong reasons cbdt chairman is sushil chandar sushil chandar next question irctc irctc has signed an agreement uh, with which mobile payment company for cashless transaction so you will get lot of questions in your exams Uh, you know on uh, cashless transaction and to be honest irctc has agreement with almost all of these companies it has with free charge it has with uh, paytm it has with but for different things for cashless transaction it has very recently uh, signed an agreement with free charge free charge also irctc has signed an agreement with famous online travel booking company make my trip dot com both which award which is instituted by or given by the indian council of cultural relations was given to maha chakri shirin dhon and professor george cardona recently so um, this question needs a lot of extra knowledge because uh, they might ask who is maha chakri shirin dhon maha chakri shirin dhon is princess of thailand she is princess of thailand thailand's capital is bangkok it is a member of asean it is a south east asian country and professor george cardona so professor george cardona is a american linguist what is uh, who is a linguist linguist is a person who studies languages who researches on languages now please note that linguist is not the person who speaks many languages for that we have a word called polyglot polyglot is a person who speaks many languages linguist is a person who studies languages like a subject origin of language etc and uh, maha chakri shirindon is princess of thailand these two eminent personalities were given which award they were given world sanskrit award now one important thing to note is that maha chakri shirindon was given the award for 2015 whereas professor george cardona was given this award for 2016 so be careful when you attempt the questions and this award is given by iccr which is the indian council of for cultural relations who has been elected as president of fikki so this is extremely important fikki which is federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry so who has been elected as the president of fikki for 2017 and he will take over from mr harshvardhan niotia and let me tell you last year in almost every exam they asked uh, about harshvardhan niotia as the the, uh, the question was who is the chairman of fikki who is the president of fikki so this question also will now be asked because uh, he has been replaced harshvardhan niotia has been replaced by pankaj patel so the new president of fikki is pankaj patel pankaj patel is chairman and managing director of cadilla healthcare company which indian american which indian american has been felicitated honored with the interfaith leadership award because he made significant contribution to promote arts and higher education and support of interfaith dialogue what is the name of this person in fact this person was given the highest award by the uttar pradesh government also by akhilesh yadav last year his name is frank islam frank islam and he was born in azamgarh 
and he was honored for his contributions. He was felicitated with Interfaith Leadership Award. Who has been awarded International Maritime Organization Award at the International Maritime Organization Headquarter in London? So the headquarter of IMO is in London, United Kingdom. London is the capital of England. Now, this question is supremely important. In fact, it is the most important question in this video. This lady, she was the first, uh, you know, uh, you know, female Navy merchant leader. And she has shown exceptional bravery because she rescued seven fishermen from a sinking boat in the Bay of Bengal. Her name is Captain Radhika Menon. She has been awarded, honored. She is the first female to get this honor. Exceptional bravery at sea by IMO. So this question is supremely important. Agni 1 missile. So we did its uh, test firing from Odisha. In Odisha, we have our uh, test firing station called Wheeler Island. Wheeler Island was renamed to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island. So you can say Wheeler Island also, which is the old name or Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island, which is the new name. Now, uh, Agni 1 missile was test fired. It is a ballistic missile, by the way. There are two different kind of missile like ballistic missile and cruise missile. But there is another classification also like surface to surface, air to surface, etc. So Agni 1 missile is a surface to surface missile. And by the way, Agni 1 missile, the range is 700 kilometer. 700 kilometer is the range of destruction. Who has been awarded the Shakti Bhat first book prize 2016 for his book Gita Press and the Making of Hindu India? So this is the name of the book Gita Press and the Making of Hindu India. And it shows, uh, it throws light on the fundamentalism which is surrounding the Hindu religion in India. And this particular person is a journalist. His name is Akshya Mukul. Now if you recall, Akshya Mukul is also the guy who refused a prize from Narendra Modi at the Ramnath Goenka Awards for Journalism. So same guy has got the Shakti Bhatt first book prize 2016. Ram Naresh Yadav passed away. Now this week lot of people passed away. 25 plus people passed away. So I have included around 15 questions from obituary which are most important. Ram Naresh Yadav is also important. He was an important figure. So he passed away. He was related to which field? Now they can ask the question. They can twist and turn the question in various ways. Ram Naresh Yadam was a four-time MLA and he was a member of Rajya Sabha also. And he was the former governor of Madhya Pradesh. So the answer is politics. He was a Congress leader. He served as the governor of Madhya Pradesh from 2011 to 2016, five years. Now, please note that the place where the governor stays in a state is called Raj Bhavan. Raj Bhavan is the name of the place. And he was from Uttar Pradesh. So... The, that's all the information you need. He was the governor of Madhya Pradesh. What is the name of the Prime Minister of Portugal who will be the chief guest at the 14th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas? Pravasi Bharatiya means NRIs. So Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, 14th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas will be celebrated from, uh, from you know, 7th of January to 9th of January 2017. So that is the day when we celebrate the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. And 14th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, the, our chief guest is the Prime Minister of Portugal. His name is Antonio Costa. Look at the option second, Antonio Guterres. He is the ex-Prime Minister of Port Portugal who now is the Secretary General of United Nations. After Ban Ki-moon, Antonio Guterres will take over in 2017 as the Secretary General or the Chief of United Nations. That's all you need to know. Luis Figo is a football player from Portugal and Rui Costa is also an ex-football player. So these two are football players and ex-teammates of Cristiano Ronaldo who is also from Portugal. The capital of Portugal is Lisbon. One more thing important. There is something which is known as Youth Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. It is for the youth. So we have a special guest in that also. He is the Vice President of Suriname. His name is Michael Ashwin. Michael Ashwin will be the special guest at the 14th Youth Pravasi Bharatiya Devas, whereas for normal Pravasi Bharatiya Devas or the major Pravasi Bharatiya Devas, the chief guest will be the Prime Minister of Portugal, Antonio Costa. Which assembly constituency has become the first electronic assembly constituency of the country which has adopted e-vidhan system making it paperless? Super important question and I'll tell you why. 
If you remember last year, I told you that Himachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh has become the first state in India to adopt something known as E Vidhan. See, Vidhan means Vidhan Sabha or Legislative Assembly. Okay, Vidhan Sabha or Legislative Assembly. Now, this Legislative Assembly, uh, Himachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly, which Assembly constituency has become paperless, completely paperless, and therefore it has become digital in a way. And all the details of the day-to-day -day working of the Legislative Assembly will be provided now on the mobile apps and tablets, thereby rendering the need of paper, uh, you know, meaningless. So, this Assembly constituency is called Palampur. Now, please note that Palampur and Palanpur are different. Palanpur is in Gujarat, okay, and Palampur is in Himachal Pradesh, M, okay, so your answer is with M, Palampur. And where is Palampur? Palampur is in Kangda district in Himachal Pradesh. And the and let me tell you about Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh capital is Shimla. And chief minister is Veer Bhadra Singh, who is from Congress. In, in oh, I think only four or five states we have Congress government left. One of them is Himachal Pradesh. In Maharashtra, the Marathwada Association of Small Scale Industries and Agriculture and Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation are organizing something known as Maharashtra Expo. Now, what is the need for this Maharashtra Fair Expo? It is to promote tourism and also uh, to focus on certain issues of MSMEs, that is micro, small and medium enterprises, small scale industries uh, and uh, related to industries uh, issues. So this fair will work on that and it will be in January 2017 from 5th to 8th. It will be a four day event in Aurangabad. So in Aurangabad, you will have Maharashtra Expo 2017. 17. Maharashtra has a combined government of BJP and Shiv Sena. So, uh, the CM of Maharashtra is Devendra Fadnavis. Which state government has amended the 2008 liquor prohibition order and empowered the Gram Sabha to pass a resolution calling for the liquor shops within the village's limits be relocated 100 meter away or outside the village limit? So, this state government, what it has done is it has given the power to the Gram Sabha. Okay, it has given the power to the Gram Sabha that these Gram Sabha can force a liquor shop or a wine shop from relocating. It can force them to relocate at least 100 meter away from the villages. So this is a step in the right direction to check the excessive consumption of liquor by the low income groups in villages. And this state government, this step is done by Maharashtra government who has empowered the Gram Sabha to force the liquor shops to relocate themselves 100 meter away from the, uh, from the villages. Which country hosted the 13th World Robot Olympiad? So this Olympiad was uh, hosted very recently from 25th of November to 27th of November 2016 and uh, it was organized by NCSM and Ministry of Culture and uh, it was hosted by India. Yes, it was hosted by India for the first time ever. Uh, it has taken place 13 times, but it was the first time India hosted it and India also won the silver medal. So on home turf, we won the silver medal and gold medal was won by Russia. That also you need to know. Russia won the gold medal in Robo World Robot Olympiad and uh, India won the silver medal and 2000 students from 54 countries had participated in this. The Reserve Bank of India has doubled the limits of semi-closed prepaid payment instrument. What are semi-closed pay prepaid instrument? Semi-closed prepaid payment instrument are used to pay your bills, you know, your uh, regular bills like domestic electricity bill and all these bills, utility bills. And the limit was 10,000 rupees. But now since RBI wants the economy to become cashless, this limit has been doubled. So now the limit for semi-closed prepaid payment instrument PPI is 20,000 rupees. One more thing. The merchants who, who are using the PPIs or semi-closed PPIs, they can transfer up to 50,000 rupees to their own bank account using the semi-closed prepaid payment instrument. So there are two figures which you need to know. Number one is that if you have a semi-closed prepaid payment instrument, your limit is 20,000 rupees, but you can transfer up to 50,000 rupees from the pre, uh, prepaid payment instrument to your own account. Which Indian journalist has been uh, conferred with the International Press Freedom Award for her reporting from the Naxal infested Bastar area? 
So what is Naxalism? See, Naxals are the people, uh, they are ordinary people who feel that the government policies have alienated them. No development has been done to us and, uh, you know, their home, sometimes their shelter has been taken away, no jobs. So they have picked up weapon and they have become Naxals. That is why it is called left of left, leftist Maoist or Naxal insurgency, leftist insurgency. And a lot of states are reeling under Naxal insurgency and Bastar in Chhattisgarh is one such area. So Bastar is in Chhattisgarh and Chhattisgarh has a lot of area which is under Naxal threat. And this journalist, she did courageous reporting in these dangerous areas and for that she has been given International Press Freedom Award. Her name is Malini Subramanyam. Malini Subramanyam. Dr. M. Bala Murali Krishna passed away recently. He was related to which field? So at one point of time, he was a household name because if you have listened to the music video Mile Sur Mera Tumhara, you know, in 1980s, uh, the, the video begins with his, uh, you know, his singing. So Dr. M. Bala Murli Krishna was into singing and he was Padam Vibhushan awardee. He had got Padam Vibhushan in 1991. Padma Vibhushan is the second highest civilian honor in India after Bharat Ratna. And Dr. Bala Murli Krishna was into Carnatic singing, Carnatic music. Sometimes they might also ask which type of music uh, did he specialize in. He was into Carnatic music. MGK Menon passed away recently. He was related to which field? So MGK Menon, he was the chairman of Indian Space Research Organization in 1972. And he was also our Minister of State for Science and Technology in the VP Singh government. When VP Singh was the Prime Minister of India, he was a Minister of State for Science and Technology. So he was a very, very renowned scientist. The answer is science. And one more question from Obituary. Dr. Viveki Rai passed away recently. He was related to which field? So he was a very, very famous author, literaturist. So he was a literateur. So the answer is literature. And he used to write in two languages. One is Hindi and one is Bhojpuri. So Bhojpuri is predominantly spoken in Bihar, but also in other parts of India like Uttar Pradesh, etc. And Hindi, as you know, is the most spoken language in India. So Hindi and Bhojpuri, uh, he used to write in these languages. He was into literature. The Legislative Assembly or Vidhan Sabha of which state has passed a resolution Legislative Assembly has passed a resolution allowing 33% reservation for women in urban local bodies. So this is uh, this state has recently given 33% reservation of women in urban local bodies. It was done by Nagaland. The capital of Nagaland is Kohima. It is a northeastern state and uh, the chief minister of Nagaland is T.R. Zeliang. That also you should know. Which state's chief minister has launched something known as smart water distribution monitoring? I repeat, smart water distribution monitoring. It is basically a website interface through which people can check the status of drinking water in the water tanks. So this is basically to conserve water, to see how much water is remaining in our water tank. You can do it now through this web interface. And this was done by Chandra Babu Naidu who is the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh. The capital of Andhra Pradesh is Amravati and the capital of Telangana is Hyderabad. Previously, Telangana and Hyderabad, this Andhra, they shared the same capital. And uh, Chandrababu Naidu is from Telugu Desam party. That's all you need to know. Which state's public works department or the PWD has decided to use something known as jet patcher. So jet patcher is name of a machine which is used to repair the road pits. If there are any potholes, if there are any holes in the road, they can be filled with this machine very, very swiftly and easily. So which state's public work department has decided to use jet patcher? It has been decided by Maharashtra government and Maharashtra PWD minister made this announcement. His name is Chandrakant Patil. He is the PWD minister of Maharashtra. Which state launched a scheme to provide quality meals at cheap price to people belonging to the weaker section of the society? So like your rickshaw puller, your auto drivers, all these people who are who belong to economically the weaker section of the society, this scheme is called Annapurna Rasoi scheme. Rasoi means kitchen. Annapurna Rasoi program. This scheme is started by Rajasthan government. Rajasthan has a Bharatiya Janta Party government. Its chief minister is 
वसुंधरा राजे सिंधिया एंड द कैपिटल ऑफ राजस्थान इज द पिंक सिटी जयपुर ऑल्सो नॉट अबाउट अ लिटल अबाउट दिस स्कीम बिकॉज दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम सो इन दिस स्कीम यू नो क्वालिटी फूड ब्रेकफास्ट विल बी गिवन एट फाइव रुपीज पर प्लेट ओनली एंड लंच एंड डिनर एट एट रुपीज पर प्लेट सो दैट इज डिसाइडेड बाय द राजस्थान गवर्नमेंट इन विच एफ्रीकन कंट्री आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट हैव अनअर्थ डिग्ड अ सिटी डेटिंग बैक मोर देन सेवन थाउजेंड ईयर्स कंटेनिंग हाउसेज टूल्स पॉटरी एंड ह्यूज ग्रेव्स सो जस्ट लाइक जस्ट लाइक द डिगिंग दैट टुक प्लेस द एक्सकवेशन दैट टुक प्लेस ड्यूरिंग द इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन नाउ देर इज एन देर इन एफ्रीकन कंट्री लॉट ऑफ एक्सकवेशन और डिगिंग ऑफ ओल्ड थिंग्स वॉज डन एंड साइंटिस्ट हु स्टडी दीज ऑल्सो नॉन एज आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट दे हैव डिस्कवर्ड अ सेवन थाउजेंड ईयर ओल्ड सिटी सो दिस हैज बीन फाउंड इन ईजिप्ट ईजिप्ट विच हैज द फेमस तहरीर स्क्वायर एंड ईजिप्ट कैपिटल इज केरो नाउ वन मोर थिंग यू शुड नो दैट इज अ प्लेस कॉल्ड अबाइडोस सी अबाइडोस इज अ वेरी फेमस प्लेस इन ईजिप्ट बिकॉज इट हैज अ टेम्पल कॉल्ड टेम्पल ऑफ सेती विच इज अ वेरी फेमस टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन जस्ट लाइक द पिरामिड्स so temple of seti is in abydos which is in egypt and why i am telling you this is because this excavation took place near abydos which country will head or chair the energy club of the shanghai cooperation organization in 2017 it is not a member of sco still it has become the first country first non full time member country of uh, sco to become the chairman of a club in the organization so energy club is one of the clubs in the china dominated shanghai cooperation organization please note that india and pakistan they were not the member of the sco till this year but only last year in 2015 they become members they became members of the shanghai cooperation organization and its energy club will be headed by turkey now turkey's capital is ankara not istanbul but istanbul is a very famous town in turkey also another famous place in turkey is antilla and turkey was uh, in news because of a failed coup attempt by the military against head of state erdogan who has been chosen by president elect donald trump as united states ambassador to the united nations super important question she is the governor of south carolina okay very very fine um, speaker leader very young very very young and her name is nikki haley Nikki Haley has been chosen by Donald Trump. Nikki Haley is also from Republican Party. That is why she has been chosen by Trump as United States Ambassador to the United Nation. She is the Governor of South Carolina. Now, other important thing about her, she is also the youngest governor in the United States. Very, very young, and she is daughter of Indian immigrants. Now, Tulsi Gabbard, she is Democrat. She is not from Trump's party. She is from Obama's party, but she is also very talented. She is. from hawaii representative in hawaii and tulsi gabbard people are saying that she will be 2024 democratic president nominee she is that popular hillary clinton well she lost bobby jindal was the governor of louisiana for 8 years he is also from republican party who has been appointed by the government as the new chairman of the national highway authority of india now see national highway authority of india builds roads everywhere in the country except in borders and in mountainous regions in these two places the roads are built by border road organization and the headquarter of nhai and bro both is in new delhi the new chairman of nhai is yuddhveer singh malik yuddhveer singh malik bharati airtel has announced the launch of the first payment bank in which state so it's the airtel payment bank if they ask you which is the first payment bank government sector then it is the india post payment bank for that the exam is uh, will be held very soon and bharti airtel is the first private payment bank total 11 banks had got the permission in principal approval from the reserve bank of india that they can open payment bank and bharti airtel is opening their first payment bank in rajasthan that's right rajasthan now payment bank can accept a restricted deposit up to 1 lakh rupees sebi which is the market regulator securities and exchange board of india 
it has eased the regulations governing the investment in angel funds increasing the upper limit of number of angel investors in a scheme to how many so sebi had said previously that if there is a scheme up to 49 angel investors can invest the money that is called angel funds they can invest i will elaborate this more in my monthly banking awareness video now up to 49 um, you know angel investors can invest in scheme now up to 200 can invest that is uh, the relaxation they have given so the answer is 200 they have increased the number from 49 to 200 name the scientist who wrote the software for the apollo space mission and for this uh, this scientist was given the us highest civilian honor which is the presidential medal of freedom now one question will surely come from presidential medal of freedom they can ask anyone but i am not expecting them to ask people who are relatively unknown or who have not done much uh, which is internationally relevant so obama has given presidential medal of freedom to how many people this question they can ask 21 people and this scientist she is one of them the name is margaret hamilton she wrote the software for the apollo space mission of united states that is 1969 which company has commissioned a 93 megawatt steam turbine based captive power plant for reliance industry at hazira in gujarat so there will be total of three such uh, uh, you know steam turbine based cpp for reliance which are in a place called dahej and at hazira there are four total seven and they will be built by bharat heavy electricals limited which is a maharatan company so it is bhel it has commissioned a 93 megawatt plant so total there are seven plant four at hazira three at dahej all in gujarat k subhash passed away recently he was related to which field see k subhash is a very very renowned film director and writer he is known for directing the tamil film called chatriya and he also wrote the story of chennai express which had shahrukh khan so in fact he also wrote the story of one more hindi movie called houseful 3 so he was related to cinema he was a director and story writer k subhash what was the theme for the 2016 international day for the elimination of violence against women so there is a lot of violence against women and we must get rid of it for that we celebrate an awareness week awareness day which is the international day for the elimination of violence every year it is celebrated it is observed on 25th of november okay so that is the day and the theme this year was orange the world raise funds to end the violence against women orange the world which bollywood actor won the best actor award at the 10th asia pacific screen awards for his role as professor siras in aligarh so aligarh was a movie which was on the issue of lgbt it was related to to gays professor and student and very controversial movie but this actor he did a brilliant job in this movie in terms of acting his name is manoj vajpayee and for this he got the best actor award at the 10th asia pacific screen awards and he beat nawazuddin siddiqui who was nominated for his exceptional acting in raman raghav 2 so that's all you need to know in a significant milestone for the country's military aviation sector which aircraft after upgradation has received initial operation clearance initial operation clearance means this aircraft can now be deployed for the missions previously it was using darin 1 technology it has been upgraded to darin 3 so the answer is jaguar darin 3 this aircraft has got the operational clearance from the from the i from the air force now it will be deployed in the air force and uh, it is manufactured by hal hindustan aeronautics limited the fifth international tourism mart was recently organized in which city by the union ministry of tourism in association with the northeastern states and west bengal so there are seven northeast states and west bengal together they uh, in association with our ministry of tourism organized something known as tourism mart to promote tourism in northeast states and west bengal and it was uh, organized it was a it was a three day event from 23rd to 25th of november in imphal manipur from imphal manipur 
So the answer is Imphal. Imphal is the capital of Manipur. Who has written the book called Death Under the Deodar? See, Deodar is the name of a tree. Death Under the Deodar. And this particular fellow, he has written a book after long time. His name is Ruskin Bond. One of the most famous storytellers of the world. And Death Under the Deodar is a collection of short stories. What is India's rank in the ICT Development Index out of 175 countries? So ICT, uh, this particular index is by International Telecommunication Union. This in, uh, index was done by International Telecommunication Union. Number one country in this index was South Korea. Number two, Iceland. But you need to know just number one and India's rank. So India's rank last year was 135. We slipped three positions. Now we are 138 in 2016. In 2015, we were 135. So ICT Development Index, we are 138. Now in India, we are celebrating something known as Windmill Festival. It is the second edition of Windmill Festival, but it is seen as India's first international children's festival. India's first international children's festival, it will be held in which city? See, it will be held, it is a two-day festival, January 14, January 15, 2017, and all the kids below 12 years of age can participate in this festival. It will take place at Reliance Geo Garden in Mumbai. So the answer is Mumbai. Dilip Patgaonkar, he passed away recently, he was related to which field? So... Uh, I always uh, looked forward to his views on various topics. Uh, he, I recently read an article also about when Rajiv Sar, uh, Rajdeep Sardesai wrote that he was his first editor. So Dilip Pandgaonkar was a, a very, very famous journalist. He was editor of Times of India for a long time. So he was associated with Times of India. So Dilip Pandgaonkar is the answer. He was 72 years old. He died uh, following a heart attack in Mumbai. Women's cricketer Karen Rolton has been inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame. What is the meaning of Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame is a, is a group of very, very respected people, very, very eminent personalities. That is called Hall of Fame. So, so far, so far, 81 players have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. ICC, International Cricket Council, has given this honor to 81 people. In fact, Karen Rolton was 81st person to be included in the Hall of Fame. You have to tell me she belongs to which country. So she is the she was in fact the captain of Australian cricket team. The answer is Australia. And Australia the capital is Canberra. And uh, another thing, out of 81 people, 75 are male and 6 are female. So she is the 6th female player cricketer to be inducted into Hall of Fame or she is 81st overall. So far, 75 male and 6 female have been inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame. Which bank has launched contactless debit card which is based on NFC technology? And customers can also use it as a contact chip card. Now, it is a contactless card but you can also use it. You can use it uh, with contact uh, thing. Now, let me first tell you what is NFC. See, you go to a, uh, you go to a shop and you pay using debit card. You need to swipe it on a machine, but now you don't need to do that. There will be a machine kept. You just bring your debit card. This is your debit card. You just bring it near the machine and automatically all the information will be taken by the machine. You don't need to swipe it. It is a contactless technology and this is not the first bank to do so. In fact, it is a late entrant. A lot of banks are already doing it, but recently which bank did it? That is the question. So recently, South Indian Bank did it. Kerala-based South Indian Bank. Ivan Mikoyan passed away recently. He was related to which field? So you can just uh, take a look at the name and tell he is either from Russia or Ukraine or these countries. So he is, was in fact Russian. Yes. But he was very important because he was aircraft designer. So the answer is engineering. He was related to engineering, aircraft designing and a very famous aircraft he designed which is MiG-29. That is the question which they will ask in exam. Which aircraft did he design? MiG-29. And uh, he was awarded the USSR state prize two times. That time it was USSR. Now it's uh, Russia plus many countries. Soviet. He was awarded by the Soviet two times for his contribution. The union government has constituted a new committee 
to basically speed up the process of making India into a cashless economy. Lot of committees in the past also have encouraged this idea, like the Nachiket Mohr Committee, the Usha Thorat Committee, the Dilip Mohanty Committee, you know, all these committees. And uh, lot of committees have been set up in the past, which have, uh, you know, favored financial inclusion, cashless economy and all these things. Recently, which committee has been constituted to speed up the process of transforming India into cashless economy? It is called Amitabh Kant Committee. Amitabh Kant is the CEO of Niti Aayog, National Institution for Transforming India. Arvind Subramanyam is Chief Economic Advisor. Which famous boxer will be given the Legends Award by the International Boxing Association on its 70th anniversary? Very, very famous boxer. In fact, it is a female, Mary Com. Mary Com from Manipur. She is a five times world champion and Olympic bronze medalist. Mary Com, Olympic bronze medalist. She is a five times world champion. And she was a little unlucky because when she was at her peak, you know, female boxing was not a part of Olympics. That is why she could not compete. In fact, it is for the first time that, uh, you know, in 2012 Olympics, um, you know, boxing was included in Olympics, female boxing, and th there she won the bronze medal. Which committee has been constituted by the central government for promoting yoga in universities? See, yoga is a part of the Ayush ministry. Ayurveda, yoga, Yunani, Siddha, and homeopathy. These are the five traditional systems of medicine of India. And for that, we have a special ministry called Ministry of Ayush. Our minister of state for Ayush is Shripad Yeso Nayak. And under his leadership, this ministry, this committee has been constituted to promote yoga in universities. The name of this um, committee is H.R. Nagender. H.R. Nagender Committee. How many members are there in this committee? There are 12 members in this committee. And how many courses they are starting? They are starting five courses. That is Bachelor of Science in Yoga, Master of Science in Yoga, Doctor of Philosophy in Yoga, Postgraduate Diploma in Yoga and Postgraduate in Yoga Therapy. These are the five courses that they are starting. Who is the new Chief of Pakistan Army? That is also called Chief of Army Staff. So previously it was Rahil Sharif and now it is Kamar Bajwa. And Kamar Bajwa and India's Army Chief is Bikram Singh. So Kamar Bajwa and Bikram Singh, they have worked together in the past when they were on UN mission in Africa's Congo country, Central Africa, Congo. So Bikram Singh and Kamar Bajwa, they have worked together in the past. Kamar Bajwa is the now the unofficially, the as they say, the most powerful person in Pakistan, Kamar Bajwa. When do we observe the Samvidhan Divas or the Constitution Day in India? So you know that we had something known as the Constituent Assembly and it started framing the Constitution. The chairman of the drafting committee was Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar and on 26th of November, we had finished the drafting of the Constitution. So we had adopted the Constitution on 26th of November, but it actually came into effect two months later. So that is why on 26th of November, we celebrate the Samvidhan Divas or the Constitution Day. Samvidhan means Constitution. Another thing in this that you should know is it is a new day. Okay. Like uh, we celebrated first time the Constitution Day in India in 2015. So in 2016, that is this year, it was only the second time that we celebrated the observed the Constitution Day in India. The first ever International Gita Mahotsav will be celebrated in which state? International Gita Mahotsav. So Gita, you know that uh, Lord Krishna gave the knowledge of, uh, uh, you know, the, the supreme knowledge to Arjuna. That is in Gita and it the battle of Mahabharata was fought at this place. It is called Kurukshetra. Kurukshetra, it is in Haryana. So, International Gita Mahotsav will also be celebrated in Haryana. It will be celebrated from 6th of December to 10th of December. It's a five-day event in Haryana. What is the name of the portal and the mobile app that is launched by the Indian government to help the passengers book air tickets? And the government wants the number of air tickets to increase significantly. Right now, only eight, around 8 crore 
air tickets are being sold every year but the government wants this number to increase significantly and for that they have also launched a scheme known as udan scheme what is the name of the portal and app which is launched by the indian government the name of the app is air seva air seva now i will ask you questions also first question for today who is our union minister for civil aviation i repeat first question is who is our civil aviation minister cabinet minister that is your first question for today which company has signed a mou that is memorandum of understanding with the seva group that is the self employed women's association of india also called seva so this is a hospitality company community driven hospitality company uh, airbnb airbnb it has signed a memorandum of understanding to promote you know uh, to promote opportunities in uh, in jobs for women airbnb william trevor died recently he was related to which field william trevor he is one of the greatest storytellers short story tellers he used to write books for children short stories very very famous he was from ireland so the answer is literature he was an author and he was from ireland he was irish ireland the capital is dublin india has recently signed a deal regarding sharing of banking information with which country automatically this will be you know called automatic exchange of information and as i said this was in the joint declaration also and uh, this has been done to keep a close watch on the black money so swiss accounts the answer is switzerland the capital of switzerland is bern switzerland is a very important country because it has headquarter of a lot of important organization because switzerland has a city called geneva and also zurich lot of headquarters are there in geneva which film is india's entry for icft unesco gandhi medal see visarana is india's official entry to oscars ishti is the first feature film that was uh, screened at the international film festival of india at goa it is a sanskrit film ishti so which film is india's entry for icft unesco gandhi medal it is called allamma allamma it is a film which is directed by T S Naga Bharana. T S Naga Bharana, and uh, Alama. It is a film about metaphysics, and uh, that's all you need to know. Which advanced weather monitoring system that will improve the visibility during the foggy winter days? So, in foggy winter days, chances of railway mishap increase many fold. So, to improve the visibility. there is a advanced monitoring system that has been introduced by indian railways this will of course improve the visibility and will avoid the mishap what is the name that is given to it see it is a very very big name and you don't need to remember it it is called terrain imaging for diesel drivers terrain imaging for diesel drivers infrared enhanced optical and radar assisted system so just pick up the few words one is diesel drivers then it is based on infrared technology and it has radar also radar assisted that's also you need to know so big full form but short form is tri netra tri netra which means third eye three eyes tri tri means three netra means eyes which indian institute has been ranked as the best institute in india top institution in india by qs that is quack querelli simons graduate employability rankings 2017 and qs rankings are the most respected rankings uh, the often asked in exams this institute is iit khadakpur iit khadakpur uh, and uh, it is for the second consecutive year that iit khadakpur is in top 100 and they can also ask which is the number one university in the world according to this ranking it is stanford university stanford and number 2 is mit massachusetts institute of technology and the third is singhua university but just know the number 1 which is stanford who will captain india for men's hockey team in the junior world cup that will be held in lucknow in december 2016 that is it will take place from 8th of december to 18th of december who will captain india in the youth junior world cup um, that is taking place his name is harjit singh he is from punjab harjit singh 
कल्चर थर्मल पावर प्लांट कल्चर थर्मल पावर स्टेशन एवरीबडी नोज इट इज इन उड़ीसा इट मेड अ रिकॉर्ड वट इज द रिकॉर्ड इट जनरेटेड मोर देन वन करोड़ यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दैट इज इलेवन मिलियन यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड फॉर दिस इट मेड अ रिकॉर्ड कल्चर थर्मल पावर स्टेशन वेयर इज दिस प्लांट लोकेटेड वेयर इज दिस थर्मल पावर स्टेशन लोकेटेड इट इज इन उड़ीसा ऑल राइट बट वेयर इन उड़ीसा इट इज इन अंगुल अंगुल हु इज इलेक्टेड एज नेशनल प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडो अमेरिकन चेंबर ऑफ कॉमर्स फॉर द पीरियड टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवनटीन ही इज एन वी एस एंड एसोसिएट्स मैनेजिंग पार्टनर एन वी श्रीनिवासन एन वी श्रीनिवासन ही इज इलेक्टेड एज द नेशनल प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द ट्रेड बॉडी इंडो अमेरिकन चेंबर ऑफ कॉमर्स नाउ रिलायंस ग्रुप साइंड अ डील विद विच टी वी नेटवर्क रिसेंटली अंडर विच इट विल सेल इट्स टी वी चैनल्स एंड रेडियो सर्विसेज टू दैट नेटवर्क सो रिलायंस ग्रुप ऑन्स लॉट ऑफ टी वी चैनल्स एंड लॉट ऑफ रेडियो स्टेशन ऑल्सो नाउ इट इज सेलिंग ऑल ऑफ इट्स टी वी चैनल्स एंड ऑल ऑफ इट्स रेडियो फॉर एटीन नाइनटी करोड़ रुपीज ऑलमोस्ट टू थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज टू विच टी वी ग्रुप इट इज सेलिंग इट टू सुभाष चंद्राज ग्रुप विच इज जी ग्रुप नीरज गोयात he was in news recently why with which sport he is associated so he was in news because neeraj goyat he is 24 year old boxer so the answer is boxing but he was in news because he is the first indian to be ranked by the world boxing council his rank in the world right now is 35 so he is ranked 35th in the world by world boxing council and he is the first indian to be ranked by the world boxing council that is why he was in news so the answer is boxing hasan sadpara passed away recently now you have to tell me he is related to which field he was related to which field hasan sadpara from pakistan he is the only pakistani to have climbed the top 6 that is the highest six peaks of the world like mount akankagua mount kilimanjaro mount everest etc so he was a mountaineer hasan sadpara at which of these places new aims new medical new aims all india institute of medical sciences is being built and its foundation stone was laid by a person no less than the prime minister of india narendra modi the, it was on the occasion of the 350th birth anniversary of the 10th Sikh Guru Shri Guru Gobind Singh Ji, at which place this aims is being built? It is being built in Bhatinda, in Punjab. Bhatinda will house the new aims. Ministry of Culture. It released two coins. Okay, one is a five hundred rupee coin and one is a ten rupee coin. Now you know that five hundred rupee coin is not in use. We don't use five hundred rupee denomination coins or notes now. Ten uh, rupee coin it is in circulation. so there were two coins which were released one was only a commemorative coin 500 rupee coin but one was a circulatory coin of 10 rupees these two coins were released to commemorate the 500th anniversary of which great personality it was done in vrindavan it was the 500th uh, anniversary of shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu name the chancellor of nalanda university who resigned so no person who is heading the nalanda university is able to keep his post earlier amartya sen has had resigned he said that government is uh, interfering in his work undue interference and now this person also said the same that the autonomy of the university is in danger because the government is preempting on their rights so this person is george yo george yo chancellor of nalanda he resigned nalanda in bihar who has been appointed as the director of lal bahadur shastri national academy of administration masuri so all the is officers they go here for training lal bahadur shastri national academy of administration in masuri and in fact this has you know this particular person who is now the director new director she is the first female director of lal bahadur shastri academy the name is upma choudhary upma choudhary which ship was launched recently by the indian navy what is the name of the ship that was launched by the indian navy in a ceremony at the garden ridge ship builders and engineers limited grse kolkata the name of the ship is lcul57 
एल सी यू एल फिफ्टी सेवन विच हरिकेन स्ट्रक द सेंट्रल अमेरिकन कंट्रीज रिसेंटली इनफैक्ट जस्ट आई थिंक टू और थ्री आवर्स बैक आई हर्ड अ न्यूज दैट देर इज अ हरिकेन कॉल्ड नाडा इन तमिलनाड तमिलनाडु रिसीव द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न और द रिट्रेटिंग मॉनसून एंड रिमेंबर लास्ट ईयर वट आवॉक इन तमिलनाडु वी हैड वट आ फ्लड वी हैड इन तमिलनाडु आई होप दिस इज नॉट द केस दिस टाइम बिकॉज ऑफ द रिट्रेटिंग मॉनसून और द नॉर्थ ईस्ट मॉनसून बट द हरिकेन नाडा इफ दे आस्क वेयर इट कैन स्ट्राइक इट कैन स्ट्राइक इन तमिलनाडु इंडिया बट आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट हरिकेन नाडा आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अनदर हरिकेन विच एक्चुअली स्ट्रक यू नो इन लॉट ऑफ सेंट्रल अमेरिकन कंट्रीज सेंट्रल अमेरिकन कंट्रीज लाइक निकार का गुआ यू नो ऑल ऑफ दीज कंपनी एल सेल्वाडोर कोस्टा रिका एंड ऑल दीज सो इट इट स्पीड वॉज वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर एंड इट कॉज द हैव ऑक इनफैक्ट इट वॉज अकम्पनीड बाई अर्थ क्वेक ऑल्सो सो दिस वॉज हरी कैन ऑटो हरी कैन ऑटो अरुणाचल प्रदेश रिसेंटली रीनेम्ड अ ट्रॉफी अर्लियर इट वॉज कॉल्ड चीफ मिनिस्टर्स ट्रॉफी फॉर फुटबॉल एंड वॉलीबॉल नाउ दे हैव नेम्ड इट आफ्टर अ मार्टर आफ्टर एन इंडियन मार्टर सो इट्स अ पॉजिटिव स्टेप द नेम ऑफ द मार्टर इज हंग पन दादा हंग पन दादा एंड चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश इज मिस्टर पेमा खंडू पेमा खंडू एंड अरुणाचल प्रदेश द कैपिटल इज ईटा नगर इट इज द ईस्टर्न मोस्ट स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया हु इज द फर्स्ट प्रोफेशनल गोल्फर फ्रॉम अरब कंट्रीज हु प्लेड इन द लेडीज यूरोपियन टूर इन द कतर लेडीज ओपन टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन विच टूक प्लेस इन द कैपिटल ऑफ कतर विच इज दोहा सो देर इज अ प्रोफेशनल गोल्फ टूर्नामेंट इन कतर एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दिस टूर्नामेंट वॉज अरेंज एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम अ लेडी गोल्फर फ्रॉम अरब कंट्रीज पार्टिसिपेटेड हर नेम इज महा हदयूई महा हदयूई शी डिड नॉट विन इट बट इट इज अ ग्रेट स्टेप इन वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट बिकॉज फॉलोइंग हर लॉट ऑफ अदर Uh, woman will come forward maha hadiyui is from morocco she turned professional golfer in 2011 and she is the first professional golfer from arab region in fact this tournament was won by an indian as we'll see in another question recently launched book rajiv gandhi he was killed by the terrorists from ltte as it's a well known fact but the story was not that simple there are lot of hidden truths so rajiv gandhi assassin hidden truths priyanka meeting nalini it is the autobiography of which person so you can be smart either it can be autobiography of priyanka or nalini so it is the autobiography of nalini shriharan but it has been uh, compiled by famous writer pa ekalaiwan pa ekalaiwan has compiled this autobiography of nalini shriharan uh, this is about the hidden truths conspiracy theories rajiv gandhi assassination next bikari charan mohanty passed away recently he was a renowned what he was 94 years old and he died in odisha in bhubaneswara the capital of odisha he was a renowned freedom fighter from odisha bikari charan mohanty which state government has made it compulsory for all the four wheelers in the state to install an auto dipper so this i told you this is haryana next south korea so south korea's biggest enemy is north korea south korea has a political upheaval these days because south korea's head of state park she had to resign because of corruption scandals corruption of the order of you won't believe 70 billion dollars anyways south korea the capital is seoul and north korea also called the hermit kingdom because it is isolated the capital is pyongyang the so called the jong dynasty rules here first kim il sung then he, then the the so called the hitler of north korea kim jong il now kim jong oh or kim jong un as it's called 31 year old ruler so uh, south korea north korea they are the biggest enemies their border is called demilitarized zone which is said to be the most dangerous place in the world and south korea wants to share the intelligence information about north korea they say that enemy's enemy is a friend so south korea's enemy is north korea and japan's enemy is also north korea that makes south korea and japan as friends so south korea will share the intelligence info related to defense military intelligence with japan that is the deal which has been signed which bank has signed a deal with india's ramco system for erp integrated solution erp integrated solution which bank has signed a deal it is the largest bank of brunei 
इट इज कॉल्ड बैंक इस्लाम ब्रूनई दरुसलाम बैंक इस्लाम ब्रूनई दरुसलाम द लार्जेस्ट बैंक ऑफ ब्रूनई एंड दोहा बैंक इज अ बैंक फ्रॉम कतार एंड इट ओपन अ ब्रांच इन केरला दैट दैट इज वाइट वॉज इन न्यूज नाउ देर इज अ ग्लोबल वेल्थ रिपोर्ट बाय क्रेडिट स्विस Credit Suisse Research Institute has given a seventh global wealth report. According to this report, the global wealth has risen by what percentage? So the global wealth has risen by one point four percent. One point four percent. That's all you need to know. Which Bollywood actress has been named in the British Broadcasting Corporation or British Broadcasting Channel BBC's list of Hundred most influential women, two thousand and sixteen. So her name is Sunny Leone. Sunny Leone is the only Indian actress, Bollywood actress, in this list. But there are four Indian ladies, four Indian eminent ladies who are there. Who are they? One is Sunny Leone, but she is the only Bollywood actress. Who are the other three? That also you should know. So one is Neha Singh. Neha Singh is. Uh, you know uh, she is from mumbai she uh, launched a movement called why loiter and uh, there is a 20 year old girl called gauri chindarkar gauri chindarkar she is only 20 year old and uh, she uh, into is into field of education and there is this that is the answer of this question so who popularly known as the tractor queen of india she is the ceo of tractors and farm equipment limited which is the third largest tractor manufacturer of the world third largest tractor manufacturer of the world she is the chief executive officer of this company she is also called the tractor queen and she was also in the list of bbc's 100 most influential women i told you four women were there in the list one was sunny leon one was neha singh one was gauri chindarkar and one was mallika shrinivasan so mallika shrinivasan is the answer she is the ceo of track you know tractor and farm equipment limited which indian medicine company drug company has entered into an agreement with russian pharma company jsc biosentes to acquire 85% equity stake in the russian firm for 60 million dollar this drug company of india is owned by dilip singhvi dilip singhvi and it is the largest drug company of india and it has bought 85% equity or 85% stake in jsc biosentes russian company it is headquartered in mumbai the company name is sun pharma cavita cavita it is a beverage it is a probiotic beverage company it has been acquired by which beverage giant so this is business gk very important often neglected by the students Cavita is acquired by PepsiCo. PepsiCo. Tianlian I zero four. Tianlian I zero four. It is a data satellite recently launched by which country? Tianlian. It is the fourth data satellite in uh, you know to in total which is launched by this country. Total four data satellites have been launched by China. So Tianlian I zero four is Chinese data satellite. Fikki the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry has announced the launch of self regulation code of conduct for which sector to face because it faces problems because of uh, lack of transparency accessibility affordability and awareness so basically to bring transparency accessibility affordability and awareness in this sector fikki has announced to launch a code of conduct this they have announced for electronic pharmacy because lot of people are now buying medicines online but there are certain issues uh, with it like prescription drugs and everything so there is a code of conduct which is launched by fikki according to the report by kashman and wakefield which is a real estate agent kashman and wakefield which market in india is the 28th most expensive market in the world it is 28th most expensive market in the world according to kashman and wakefield it is delhi's khan market that's right khan market is the world's 28th most costly market quicker quicker has acquired which online home rental solutions company online home rental solutions company has been acquired by quicker 
This company is Grab House. Grab House. Now, there is a shortage of cash because 86% of the cash in the Indian economy has been flushed out because of demonetization. 86%. So, government has asked the NABARD, which is our agriculture bank, started in 1982. It is for rural development to push money into the market so that farmers, because now they have to sow wheat because uh, this is the season for sowing of the wheat crop. That is the Rabi season is starting and uh, they need money for that. So government has asked NABARD to push how much money into the market so that the loans can be given to farmer so that they can buy seeds etc and other technology. Total money which the government has asked NABARD to push into the market is 21,000 crore. 21,000 crore. When do we observe National Milk Day? National Milk Day every year. See, National Milk Day is uh, observed or celebrated because of the birthday of a great person called Dr. Varghese Kurian. Dr. Varghese Kurian, he is also called the father of the White Revolution. Father of White Revolution, you can also say Operation Flood, if you remember. And that is why on his birthday, we celebrate National Milk Day. And every year we celebrate it on November 26th. Please also note that the first National Milk Day was observed in 2014. So in 2016, this year, we observed only the third National Milk Day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched a mobile app in Hyderabad at a conference which was organized by uh, the police. What is the name of this mobile app that was launched by the Prime Minister of India? This app is Indian Police at Your Call. Indian Police at Your Call. What is the name of the portal launched by the government to provide detailed information to farmers about bovine animals? This is a portal which will provide all the information like about vaccination, about fodder, etc. You know about the breeding to farmers and this portal has been named e Pashu Heart. Pashu means animal. e Pashu Heart is the name of the portal. Our HRD minister Prakash Javadekar who was earlier the minister of state for environment. HRD minister Prakash Javadekar is adopting which village in, you know under Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana. Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana is that every parliamentarian be it member of Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha has to adopt a village and make it idle village. That is called Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana and our HRD minister he had earlier that is two years back he had adopted a village called Paldev. Paldev is in Madhya Pradesh. It's a village in Satna district of Madhya Pradesh and now it is an idle village. But now he needs to adopt one more. So this village is called Khutia. Khutia, it is again in Madhya Pradesh in Chindwada district in Madhya Pradesh. And also Sachin Tandulkar is also adopting a village called Golapalli. So you should be well aware of these name of villages. Khutia village is the village which is, will soon be adopted by Prakash Javadekar and Paldev village he adopted two years back. The parliament of which country has passed a new snooping law? Snooping means when you spy on somebody. Snooping law that will give the authorities of this country power to um, nudge into anyone's privacy. That is the government, the authorities will have the power to check the internet browsing history of any person in the United Kingdom. So this has been done by United Kingdom. The Parliament of United Kingdom has passed a snooping law allowing the authorities to snoop its citizens. Which country's voters are casting their votes to decide whether or not to speed up the process of phasing out the country's nuclear power plant? So this country a lot of citizens want that the nuclear power plant should be shut down. Whereas a lot of citizens want that they should be continued. And for that there is a referendum, there is a voting that will decide that. This country is Switzerland. Our Ministry of Ayush, it organized Arogya Fair. Arogya means good health. So a good health fair was organized recently in which city? And this was to promote our, again, 
uh, our traditional systems of medicine which is under the aegis of ayush it was recently organized in which city so actually both uh, all the four are states here it was organized in shimla so himachal pradesh is the answer you can just uh, convert city to state which state will uh, observe a three day sports and culture festival in december called named judima it's a it's about sports it's about culture this festival it is called judima and it will be celebrated at a place called heflong and heflong as you know it is a very famous hill station in assam so the answer is assam the capital of assam is dispur and the chief minister of assam is sarbanand sonobal from bharatiya janata party who has been appointed as the chairman of hockey india league governing board and uh, this person is uh, right now the secretary general of hockey india league and this decision to elevate his status to the chairmanship was taken in the 41st hockey india executive board meeting so the, the name of this person is mariamma koshi mariamma koshi is right now the secretary general but he has been elevated to the chairman position of the hockey india league governing board who has become the third indian boxer ever to win gold medal at the aiba youth world championship very very important question from sports because he is only the third boxer to do so and he is in the 49 kg weight category he won the gold medal his name is sachin singh sachin singh uh, one more thing uh, that you should know they can ask you which sport is played by naman tanwar or naman tanwar is associated with which sport again the answer is boxing because naman tanwar in aiba youth world championship he has won the bronze medal so india overall won one gold which was won by sachin singh and one bronze which was won by naman tanwar and uh, naman tanwar is in 91 kg category shamim khan and khalin joshi they are associated with which sport when such questions come students often go blank because they don't focus on sports gk especially girls so shamim khan and khalin joshi they performed brilliantly in the uh, in the uh, recently in the golf title which was the rolex ranking golf tournament so the answer is golf they were in news because of their exceptional performance in the golf the answer is golf who has been appointed as the new president of phd chamber of commerce and industry phd chamber of commerce and industry who is the new president his name is gopal jewar jaka and who is gopal jewar jaka he is chief managing director chairman and managing director of salora international he is now the president of phd chamber of commerce and industry which company recently got sebi securities and exchange board of india's clearance to launch an infrastructure investment trust this company will build an infrastructure investment trust the name is reliance infrastructure lnt larsen and tubro was also in news because it laid off a lot of people lot of people were thrown out of their jobs so lnt was also in news but the answer is reliance now prime minister narendra modi he unveiled the statue of satya sai baba satya sai baba also said to be the reincarnation of the sai baba of shirdi so this statue of satya sai baba was built in which city and it was unveiled through video conferencing not only that there is a child heart institute also child heart care, heart care center which is called satya sai international center that was also inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi via video conferencing it is in palwal haryana which is very near to faridabad in haryana which state hosted the 51st annual conference of the director general of police of states so director general of police the dgp one state has one dgp it is the highest post for a police officer in a state the ips officer in police the highest post is dgp in a state so the dgps of all the states met where it was the 51st time they met it is the 51st annual conference that took place and it took place in hyderabad so which is the capital of telangana which countries they won the gold and silver medal respectively in the 13th world Ro robot olympiad 
So you know that 13th World Robot Olympiad, it was the first time that India organized the World Robot Olympiad. India was the host and India won the silver medal and gold medal was won by Russia. So the answer is D, Russia and India respectively. Which mobile payment company has partnered with the National Highways Authority of India, that is NHAI that builds roads, state highways and national highways in India. And with now with this mobile payment app, you can pay your toll tax at the toll plazas at 391 toll booths and soon it will expand. So which mobile payment company has partnered with NHAI? It is mobile company Mobiquick. Mobiquick mobile payment company. The Competition Commission of India it has approved the acquisition of which chemical company's urea plant by Norway's Yara Fertilizer. So this particular company has sold its urea and fertilizer business to Norway's company called Yara Fertilizer. And for this acquisition, the permission of Competition Commission of India, CCI, was required and they got the permission. So Tata has sold its uh, fertilizer business for 2,670 crore rupees to Norway's company Yara Fertilizer. The answer is Tata Chemicals. Who won the 2016 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix but failed to win the Drivers' Championship? This is a very important question. See, the race was between the teammates Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton. And Lewis Hamilton won, won more number of races but he was not very consistent. Nico Rosberg has won less number of races but he was very consistent. So Nico Rosberg from Germany, they both drive Mercedes car Nico Rosberg won the overall driver championship but Abu Dhabi Grand Prix was won by Lewis Hamilton from Britain. Please note that Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, uh, Grand Prix, Nico Rosberg had to come only third to win it and he came second. So he won it and even his father uh, had won it three decades back. So he must be a very proud man. Nico Rosberg from Germany is the world Formula 1 driver's champion. Which state will become the first state in India to go completely cashless on 31st of December, which is the first state. It is a state which is ruled by BJP. The CM is Lakshmikant Parsekar. This state is Goa. Goa will become the first state to go cashless. Goa is the smallest state in India by area. If I take into account area, if I ask you which is the state in India which has the lowest population, then the answer is Sikkim. But if I ask you which is the play, which is the state in India with the you know, smallest state, smallest area, then the answer is Goa. The capital is Punjab. Anand Yadav, he passed away recently. He was related to which field? So, Anand Yadav was a very famous Marathi writer. They can ask the question, Anand Yadav used to write in which language? The answer is Marathi. And Anand Yadav won the Sahitya Academy Award in 1991 for his autobiography, which is called Zombie. Z-O-M-B-I. Zombie is the autobiography of Anand Yadav. Marathi writer, he won 1991 Sahitya Academy Award for Zombie. So the answer is literature. To help the foreign tourists who are struggling because of the cashless thing which we are having right now. There is no cash. So foreign tourists want to spend in India but they are struggling. So to help them, Centrum Direct has launched something known as a Centrum Pay. It is a mobile wallet but this mobile wallet, it is powered by MasterCard. That is they are using the platform of MasterCard. But for issuing the PIN, which bank will issue the PIN for Centrum Pay? It, Centrum Pay has partnered with which bank for getting their PIN issued by? The bank is a private bank. Yes Bank. Yes Bank. Now my third question for today. Where is the headquarter of Yes Bank? Yes Bank's headquarter is where? India hosted the 50th anniversary celebrations of the United Nations Commission on the International Trade Law, which is called UN Citral. I repeat, United Nations Commission on International Trade Law, UN Citral, India recently hosted its 50th anniversary in New Delhi. Who gave the opening speech? Opening address was delivered by whom? It was delivered by the President of India, Pranab Mukherjee. Akodara village in Sabarkanth district. Akodara village in Sabarkanth district has earned the title of becoming the first digital village in India. So, which is the first digital village in India? Akodara village in Sabarkanth district. And if you remember, last year I told you that ICICI Bank has started the smart village program and Akodara village is the first smart village in the country. And look, uh, the progress it has made. It, it is the village 
which was not affected by demonetization as at all because it is already a digital village so akodara village was made digital by icici bank with the help of icici bank and akodara village is in gujarat which district sabarkanth district it is the first digital village in india india's first underwater festival was recently held in which city india's first underwater festival this is basically to spread awareness about the marine ecosystem our aquatic life and uh, you know incite the people to conserve the aquatic life india's first underwater festival it took place in the you know at the scuba diving uh, club scuba diving center in pune maharashtra so the answer is pune now there is a 10 day long festival which is being celebrated it is called losar 10 day festival losar festival it began in which state see losar is a festival which we is celebrated for tibetan new year the word losar means new year in tibet tibet so it is a festival which is celebrated in ladakh in jammu and kashmir ladakh non banking financial company non banking financial company is a company which does not ha have a you know which does not has a full banking license by the rbi to operate like a bank but it can perform lot of uh, lot of financial uh, functions of a bank very similar to bank but there is there are lot of differences so non banking financial company bajaj finance it has partnered with which bank to launch co branded credit card what is co branded credit card so if there is a credit card it will also have nb uh, the bajaj finance logo and this particular bank's logo also which bank has partnered with bajaj finance this bank is ratnakar bank limited also called rbl bank now a very important question question number 4 where is the headquarter of ratnakar bank in india ratnakar bank where is the headquarter which film of iran iran the capital is tehran it is a central asian country uh, so which iranian film has won the golden peacock award at the 47th international film festival of india which was held in goa and uh, this film is directed by they will also ask the director the director name is reza mir karimi this iranian film is called daughter it has won the golden peacock award at the 47th international film festival of india which word has been named as the word of the year for 2016 by dictionary.com please note this is not by oxford okay oxford has named post truth as word of the year but i am asking dictionary.com it is a private website it has named xenophobia as the word of the year because according to dictionary.com the there was a significant increase in the usage of the word xenophobia what is xenophobia xenophobia is is a type of hyper nationalism chauvinism where we say that only our country is good other countries are bad we are not able to accept foreign cultures there is a kind of bigotry there so that is called xenophobia and all right word is also becoming very popular post truth word of the year by oxford xenophobia word of the day by dictionary.com which indian film was invited for a special screening at the united nations headquarter so this is a very big and rare honor for a indian film that it was invited for a special screening at the united nation headquarter the name of the film is pink film on gender issues and starring amitabh bachchan great movie and the director of this film they can also ask director name is anirudh roy choudhary anirudh roy choudhary and this film is written by ritesh shah these two people you should know associated with the movie pink it was invited by united nations for a special screening in its headquarter where are the headquarter of un it is in new york headquarter of united nation and unicef is in new york which country beat croatia small european country croatia to win their first ever davis cup tennis title this country has not won a davis cup title before it is their first ever davis cup title so it's a very very important news and the capital of croatia is zagreb so they beat croatia on their own turf this country is argentina very famous for two football players maradona and messi and argentina the capital is buenos aires who has been renominated by the hrd ministry as the chairman of orville foundation so he is a member of parliament from congress his name is karan singh karan singh 3 uh, years back also he was uh, nominated as chairman in 2012 four years back and now also 
uh, he has been renominated as the chairman of Orwell Foundation. Which film was recently awarded at the UNESCO Salon Youth Video Competition 2016? UNESCO headquarter is in Paris and this film was given uh, this honor. It was uh, awarded. This film is Magical Piano. Magical Piano. And uh, about this film, uh, this, this is basically a story uh, about a child who receives a ma magical piano as his birthday gift. And the story is written by Mayul Verma. The magical piano story is written by Mayul Verma who is from Agra. Fidel Castro. He passed away recently. He was related to which field? Easiest question. Fidel Castro was into politics. He was the so-called dictator of Cuba. Revolutionary leader and former president of Cuba. So ruled for almost 50 years. So the capital of Cuba is Havana. Cuba is famous for boxers. And Cuba is also called the sugar bowl of the world. Which Indian snooker player has won the bronze medal at IBSF World Snooker Championship? So he, world, he won the bronze medal at the World Snooker Championship 2016. Very, very rare honor. This snooker player is 15 times world champion. Would you believe it? 15 times. His name is Pankaj Adwani. He is from Karnataka. Who has been appointed as the new Indian Director General of Military Operations? Very famously, in short, we say DGMO. DGMO level talks. So DGMO, right now, it is Mr. Ranbir Singh, but he will be replaced by Mr. A.K. Bhatt. Lieutenant General A.K. Bhatt. So this is one of the most important questions. DGMO is very, very important position in the military hierarchy. The Union Government has decided to constitute a committee with Chief Minister of Five States. So the chief minister of five states are there in this committee and this committee, the job is basically to normalize the, the mayhem that is caused by the demonetization drive of the central government. This committee will be headed by which of these five chief ministers? This committee will be headed by the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh, Chandra Babu Naidu of the Telugu Desam. And the, the job of this committee is basically to uh, normalize the situation in the country. So, uh, you know, they can also ask directly. Chandra Babu Naidu committee has been uh, formed for what? The question can be put up like that also. Now, there is one more committee. The Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India. You know, there is an Insolvency and Bankruptcy Bill also that was passed recently. So, Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India has recently constituted high-level committee, two high-level committee, I repeat, two high-level committee to gather the input on various aspects, including on service provider and corporate liquidation. Who will head this committee? Now, pay attention here. If they ask you committee on service provider, then the answer is Mohan Das Pai. Okay. If they ask on corporate liquidation, then the head is Uday Kotak. Okay. Uday Kotak. So, two committees are formed. Mohan Das Pai committee. Again, it is constituted by the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board. And why Mohan Das Pai committee? Mohan Das Pai committee to give suggestions, inputs regarding the service, you know, service provider. Whereas for corporate liquidation, it is Uday Kotak. So two different committees. Which country has the Great Barrier Reef? That was in news recently. See, Great Barrier Reef is made up of corals. Okay, corals. And they look very, very beautiful. Even in India, you have coral islands. Lakshadweep are the coral islands. So Great Barrier Reef is in Australia. It is the world's largest reef. And uh, it was in news for all the wrong reasons. And I'll tell you why. Because uh, Great Barrier Reef is almost 2300 kilometers. It is, a, it is very big. And out of that, 700 kilometer is damaged according to scientists. So almost one third of Great Barrier Reef is damaged in the past nine months. And this is one of the most, uh, you know, uh, most... Uh, uh, what they call very damaging and very uh, which gives us something like a warning it is the worst die off which is ever recorded in the in the history uh, so that you should know australia's great barrier reef asia's first and longest cycle highway was inaugurated by akhilesh yadav who is the chief minister of uttar pradesh samajwadi party socialist party based on the principle of ram manohar lohia asia's first and longest cycle highway it will be run between which two stations. So cycle is also the, you know, the party sign symbol of uh, 
समाजवादी पार्टी इलेक्शन लोगो एशियाज फर्स्ट एंड लॉन्गेस्ट साइकिल हाईवे विल बी बिटवीन इटावा एंड आगरा एंड इट इज एशियाज लार्जेस्ट एंड इंडियाज फर्स्ट इट इज ऑल्सो इंडियाज फर्स्ट साइकिल हाईवे वी डोंट हैव एनी साइकिल हाईवे इन इंडिया एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन इटावा एंड आगरा दिस हाईवे इज टू हंड्रेड सेवन किलोमीटर मेकिंग इट एशियाज फर्स्ट एंड लार्जेस्ट लॉन्गेस्ट साइकिल हाईवे द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू इंट्रोड्यूस डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर फॉर विच प्रोडक्ट सो डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर स्कीम इज वेर द मनी इज डिपॉजिटेड इन योर आधार लिंक बैंक अकाउंट एंड यू कैन अवेल द सब्सिडी दिस इज दिस स्कीम इज बेसिकली टू रिमूव एनी यू नो अनडिजर्व सब्सिडी बाय द गवर्नमेंट विच सेव द लॉट ऑफ मनी एंड दिस स्कीम वॉज ह्यूजली सक्सेसफुल फॉर Uh, for LPG gas, for kerosene. Now they are starting it for which product? They are starting it for fertilizer. Now my fifth question for today: There was a revolution in fertilizer. What was it called? Which color revolution was it? Like for example, white revolution is for milk. Okay. Similarly, fertilizer revolution was for what? That you have to tell. What has been banned in Delhi by the Supreme Court? There was a bench of three judges of Supreme Court. and uh, one of the judge was the chief justice of india ts thakur also they have banned what in new delhi to reduce air pollution till further orders are awaited so they say till further orders this product will remain banned in delhi this is crackers which author has won the financial times and mckinsey business book of the year 2016 now this book is not recent but this book came in news because it won the business book of the year 2016 the name of the book is the man who knew the life and times of allen green span who wrote this book this book was written by sebastian malabai sebastian malabai now you know the 1971 famous war which is called india versus pakistan bangladesh liberation war where we helped bangladesh achieve freedom so it was a war uh, called bangladesh liberation war and lot of indian soldiers they gave their lives away they were martyred to help bangladesh achieve freedom so bangladesh's uh, liberation war affairs minister mr mujammal haq he has announced that bangladesh will honor those indian army men who were martyred during the bangladesh liberation war how many indian soldiers will be awarded or rewarded they will be honored total number is 1668 1668 who has been appointed as the interim chairman of tata steel so tata group they removed cyrus mistry who along with his father palonji mistry and his brother shapur mistry had 18% share in tata group but he was removed now uh, ratan tata has taken over as the interim chairman of the overall tata group but for tata steel who has been made the interim chairman it is mr op bhat op bhat is being has been made the interim chairman of tata steel and tata steel in fact is one of the reasons why they kicked out cyrus mistry because tata steel was making huge losses not for just this year for last so many years because they also acquired corus steel which was a loss making company of europe and they couldn't turn it around so uh, interim chairman is op bhat and tcs also has a in interim chairman i think his name is ishat husain and other companies also they are, have interim chairman now the new who will be the new chairman for that there is a there is a committee which has to there is a five membered committee which has to give recommendations the names suggest the names and new chairman will be appointed within 4 months as informed by ratan tata who is now the interim chairman of the tata group four leading indian born ceos have been named in fortune's business person of the year list which among these is not in the list good question so four indian born ceos have been named by the fortune magazine in business person of the year so let's see who all are there so mr ajit rajender yes he is there in the list and who is he he is ceo of an american company based in milwaukee and this company is uh, it makes water heater the name of the company is ao smith he is the ceo of ao smith he is there in this list yes satya nadella is of course there in fact satya nadella is fifth ranked fifth and ajit rajender he is ranked 34th then nikesh aroda no nikesh aroda is not there ajay banga he is there yes Ajay Banga is from Mastercard, and uh, Mastercard's Ajay Banga he is at fortieth position. Nikesh Arora is not there. Nikesh Arora he was very famous because he was the president of the Japanese telecom company SoftBank, but they kicked him out. SoftBank kicked Nikesh Arora out. Now some people are saying that Nikesh Arora might be the 
he might replace uh, Saras Mistri. So it remains to be seen. But Nikesh Aroda is not there. Rather, who is the fourth person? So three are these people who are there. Fourth is HDFC chairman Aditya Puri. He is at 36th position. And the same list. Who has topped this list? Who is the person who has topped this list? So it is Mark Zuckerberg who has topped it. And number two is Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, owner of Amazon. And Mark Zuckerberg, chief executive officer of Facebook. And uh, chief operating officer of Facebook is Sheryl Sandberg. This also they ask in exam. And wife of Mark Zuckerberg is Chen Zuckerberg. Chen Zuckerberg, pediatrician from China. An international benchmark study recently, it is called Trends in International Mathematics and Science, called TIMSS in short, it has released a report and this report says that the students of which country are the world's best in mathematics and science? So this is an easy question if you see the options. The students of which country are world's best in mathematics and science? So no, it is not India. If some of you are thinking, it is Singapore. If you see the... If you see the uh, you know the development which Singapore has made in in the last uh, two three decades it is remarkable the answer is Singapore students of Singapore are the best in mathematics and science what was the theme of National Film Archives of India's exhibition which was organized at the 47th edition of the Indian International Film Festival of India at Goa there was a national exhibition there was an exhibition by NFAI, also called National Film Archives of India. And this exhibition was inaugurated by Venkaiya Naidu. Venkaiya Naidu. And what was the theme? The theme was Azadi Sattar Sal Yad Karo Kurbani, which means freedom 70 years. It has been 70 years since India gained independence. And Yad Karo Kurbani, which means let's commemorate the sacrifices of our great martyrs and freedom fighters. In which village, in sorry, in which state, there is a village called Khanapur and this village the name was changed from Khanapur to Kavita Puram. Why? Because the chief minister of this state has a daughter called Kavita. So to honor the daughter of the chief minister the name of the village from Khanapur was changed to Kavita Puram. This is Telangana. Telangana has ruling party Telangana Rashtriya Samiti. The chief minister is Chandrasekhar Rao. The daughter of Chandrasekhar Rao is Kavita and that is why this was done. And uh, 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 Kalava Kuntala Kavita is the full name. Kalava Kuntala Kavita, she is MP also. Which country launched bond notes currency in a bid to e ease the cash crunch and, and to also prevent the currency from falling further? So this country, right now we can say that uh, there is a mobocracy in this country in a way. Uh, as it is, you know, the, the ruler is a, is a tyrant. His name is Robert Mugabe. And this country, we have played cricket also with this country, Zimbabwe. The capital is Harare. It has launched bond notes. Which bank has announced that it will convert 100 villages into digital villages within 100 days? So this bold announcement was done by ICICI Bank. The president of ICICI Bank is Chanda Kocher. John Collision. He has been named by Forbes as the world's youngest self-made billionaire. He is the co-founder of which company? And this company is valued at more than $9 billion. That is more than 70,000 crore rupees. $9.2 billion. So which um, company is this? Whose one of the co-founder is John Collision. He has been named by the Forbes magazine as world's youngest self-made billionaire. This company is called Stripe. Stripe. Fritz William Weaver. He passed away recently. He was related to which field? Fritz, he was an American actor, very, very famous American actor, Fritz William Weaver. So the answer is cinema. Who has written a book on environment called Conflicts of Interest, My Journey Through India's Green Movement? Very, very famous environmentalist of India. Uh, her name is Sunita Narayan. And do, do read this book. This will open your eyes. Conflicts of Interest, My Journey Through India's green movement and Sunita Nayan was also associated with a lot of environmental movements like Epico movement etc. When do we observe the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people? So opinion is divided. Some blame Palestine, some blame Israel. In fact, we have made a very special video. Our uh, our faculty Mahipal Singh Rathor, Dr. Mahipal Singh Rathor has made a brilliant video on the Israel-Palestine conflict in Hindi and English as well. Do check that video out. It will give you a complete perspective 
about the israel uh, palestine conflict and uh, we need to uh, you know israel is accused of uh, human rights violations in palestine and we need to have solidarity with the palestinian people so on which day do we celebrate this solidarity day it is on november 29 every year november 29 and uh, israel capital is tel aviv some say jerusalem basically there is a there is a doubt in this so do check the options if both are mentioned then you mark jerusalem if not then tel aviv and uh, uh, united nations headquarters as i said uh, the celeb the celebrations were done the solidarity uh, conferences were done in new york for this particular day which indian golfer has won the inaugural that is the first time qatar ladies open and i told you about uh, the first female golfer from arab who participated from morocco who participated in this so it is won by an indian called aditi ashok aditi ashok sharmila nicole is a indo french golfer and aditi chohan aditi chohan is the first football player from india female football player from india to play in the english premier league she plays as a goalkeeper for west ham football club how many foreign banks have started unified payment interface surveys so ubi more, more and more banks are adopting but how many foreign banks have so far adopted upi there are only two banks yes only two one is hsbc which is hong kong hong kong and shanghai banking corporation bank uh, it is a chinese bank the headquarter is in london not in china and uh, second bank is standard chartered bank so there are only two banks the answer is two as per the latest data released by oxford economics which indian city has dislodged mumbai as the economic capital of india so mumbai is the undisputed economic capital of india it has our stock nifty share market everything uh, almost one third of gdp one third of uh, tax contribution so uh, oxford economics says that mumbai it was previously at position it is at position 31 but now delhi has grabbed the position 30th so delhi has displaced mumbai as the economic capital of india if uh, you go by the oxford economics now which campaign in, is launched which campaign is launched by apsa which is association for promoting social action to create awareness against child trafficking and missing children in the city this campaign is called every 8 minutes because according to the data by national crime record bureau every child you know once in 8 minutes one child in india in 8 minutes it becomes the victim of child trafficking so the answer is every 8 minutes which indian player won the asian para badminton championship which was for the differently abled it was organized in beijing in china which indian player won the asian para, para badminton championship he is also an is officer the name is suhas lwy suhas lwy ncc national cadet corps uh, you know that national cadet corps it has three levels a b and c and ncc if you do all the three levels almost 50% you are like a army man so ncc celebrated its which raising day on november 27 that is how many years has it been when we established ncc and ncc is the largest uniformed youth organization in india and they recently celebrated their 68th foundation day 68th raising day uh, on 27th of november now prime minister Uh, show, uh, showed uh, green signal to uh, this train called hum safar express hum safar means your companion lifelong companion hum safar prime minister narendra modi flagged off train called hum safar express from kushinagar in uttar pradesh it will run between which two stations so hum safar express will run between gorakhpur and new delhi it will reach delhi's anand vihar terminus gorakhpur and delhi which state government has recently introduced something known as private employment agency and domestic employee bill domestic employee bill to stop job seekers exploitation so basically there is a lot of exploitation of job seekers by the placement agencies themselves to stop it there is a there is a bill which was recently introduced and this bill is called nizi niyojan abhikaran and gharelu kamgar vidhyak in hindi so very very saturated hindi you won't understand and uh, so that is why this is called private employment agency and domestic employee bill it is by jharkhand and jharkhand as you know uh, jharkhand's uh, cm is raghubar das who is uh, from bharatiya janata party the first non tribal chief minister of jharkhand which indian pharma company has bought has acquired 
स्वीडन मोबर्ग फार्मास ब्रांड पीडिया केयर फॉर फाइव मिलियन डॉलर फाइव मिलियन डॉलर दे हैव नॉट बॉट कंप्लीट मोबर्ग फार्मा बट ओनली वन ऑफ देयर प्रोडक्ट कॉल पीडिया केयर फॉर फाइव मिलियन डॉलर दिस कंपनी इज स्ट्राइड शशून एंड स्ट्राइड शशून इज एन इंडियन फार्मा कंपनी इट्स हेडक्वार्टर इज इन बेंगलुरु विच इंडियन गोल्फर हैज वन हीरो वुमेन्स प्रोफेशनल गोल्फ टूअर टाइटल इट इज हर फर्स्ट गोल्फ टूअर टाइटल प्रोफेशनल गोल्फ टूअर टाइटल फीमेल गोल्फ प्लेयर एंड दिस टूर्नामेंट टूक प्लेस इन लखनऊ हर नेम इज स्मृति मेहरा नासा नासा इज द स्पेस एजेंसी ऑफ अमेरिका सो नासा हैज पार्टनर्ड विद द स्पेस एजेंसी ऑफ विच कंट्री टूगेदर दे विल लॉन्च मार्स मिशन इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन मार्स मिशन मार्स इज द सेकेंड नियरेस्ट प्लेनेट टू अर्थ आफ्टर वीनस एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सेंट यू नो आर शटल टू मार्स एंड नासा विल डू द सेम विद अनदर कंट्री पार्टनरिंग विद अनदर कंट्री इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन इट हैज पार्टनर्ड विद द स्पेस एजेंसी ऑफ यूनाइटेड अरब एमिरेट्स द कैपिटल इज अबू धाबी विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज इंक्लूडेड ट्रांसजेंडर एज अ थर्ड जेंडर टू सेफ गार्ड देयर राइट्स एंड दिस वॉज डन फॉर यू नो दिस ऑप्शन ऑफ थर्ड जेंडर वॉज प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द टिकट कैंसिलेशन टिकट बुकिंग ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन एक्सेट्रा दिस इज डन बाई इंडियन रेलवेज सो द आंसर इज इंडियन रेलवेज द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ आई आर सी टी सी इज इन न्यू डेली विच इंडियन बॉक्सर विल गेट बेस्ट बॉक्सर अवार्ड बाई इंटरनेशनल बॉक्सिंग एसोसिएशन इंटरनेशनल बॉक्सिंग एसोसिएशन दे आर कंप्लीटिंग दे आर सेवेंटी ईयर सेवेंटी एथ एनिवर्सरी विच इंडियन बॉक्सर विल गेट बेस्ट बॉक्सर अवार्ड नाउ लेजेंड्स अवार्ड विल बी गिवन टू मेरी कॉम बट बेस्ट बॉक्सर अवार्ड विल बी गिवन टू विकास कृष्णन हु इज अज अज एशियन गेम्स गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट ही परफॉर्म ब्रिलियंटली एट दी ओलंपिक्स बट ही लॉस्ट अ मेडल बाय अ विस्कर सो द आंसर इज विकास कृष्ण सो इट वॉज अ लॉन्ग वीडियो सो थैंक्स फॉर योर पेशेंस एंड डू शेयर द वीडियो लाइक कमेंट सब्सक्राइब शेयर व डू वट एवर एंड डू आंसर द क्वेश्चन दैट आई आस्ट यू ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो थैंक यू